Hey everybody, it's Sarek here, and today I'm back with another review uh, and somewhat unboxing. I've already actually unboxed everything, but you can see it all right here. And we're going to be taking a look at the automation kit from Tilt, which is My Smart Blinds. So I've already done a couple of videos on these guys, and I purchased the complete uh, automated blind from them, which if you're not that savvy with uh, any type of construction or anything like that, the automated kit is definitely something you could still do, but I will say that purchasing a complete blind from them, although it is a little bit more expensive, is super, super easy. I'll leave a link to that video down below so you can kind of compare the differences. But today, I'm going to be automating an existing blind. This is a blind, which is a level or blind, <clears throat> excuse me, purchased from Lowe's, which I already had installed. So honestly, again, if I hadn't already had these blinds, I probably just would have purchased a complete automated blind from Tilt. But because I already had these, it's less expensive for me to just automate it myself. Now this is very quick, very easy, and they include a lot of different features. For example, this uh, motor right here has its own little case on it. And you can see that I'm actually gonna be taking it off because this makes it too big to fit inside of my blind. Uh, some of the other pieces that are included in with the kit are all these different types of fasteners and things like that. And at first it can be a bit overwhelming, but they're including all of these because every single blind that you might be automating is slightly different. So they give you all the options and you'll see here as we put this together that it's actually very quick, very painless, and you can do it in a matter of minutes. So if you have your own existing blinds, check out the link below. I'll leave a coupon code uh, or discount. Make sure you follow the correct process of the link and then applying the uh, coupon code at checkout. And um, let's get started. So we have here the solar panel kit, which we'll get to next. We have the rechargeable batteries. We have the motor for adjusting the blinds. And then you have your cable wiring that goes into it. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to take out your pull cord. Right now, as soon as I pop this out, that I don't need anymore. And then I'm gonna pull out the rod. Now, again, your blinds may be slightly different depending on the brand, the manufacturer, etc. But I'm gonna pull that off and set that off to the side. And then I'm gonna put all the different components inside of here. So I've already done this a couple of times, so I'm probably slightly faster, but you can see that all of the items fit in here uh, pretty easily. The only thing you wanna make sure of is, this is a uh, cordless blind. So the way this blind works is it raises and lowers by itself. If you have a pull string here, that may be one more uh, thread that you have to watch out for. But basically all you wanna do is just make sure that none of your components are gonna get tangled up in here. And then the placement is pretty simple. So you have these two, one for wire and one for communicating. And this black cord, or excuse me, this white cord is gonna plug into the power over here. But we'll do that at the very end. So I'm just gonna pop this in here. And again, you can kind of see this is snug enough. It's all right if it moves a little bit, because remember you're gonna put this uh, pole right back through here. So I'm gonna do that. And then this, this can be a little bit difficult. You see this mechanism right here just pops into place and you can see it says press down and slide. Well, that's sometimes not as easy as it sounds just because you need a lot of pressure because they wanna make sure that this definitely stays in place. So one thing that I did find with these particular blinds is that this is sometimes just, just not fitting by just a hair. So what I am gonna do is I'm actually gonna trim this right here. And again, with your own blinds, this might not be something you have to do. With mine, all I did was just lay this down. That's it. So now I'm going to put this right here. I come with a little 3M adhesive tape. All right. What you want to be able to do is pop that through like so and then take this little piece and this locks it into place i'm just going to press down 
pop it into place. And that is going to be our new pull cord tab. All right. Here. Go ahead and plug this in. Now I'm going to get out my solar retrofit kit, and I will say these work particularly well. I have automated blinds all around my house, and whether the sun is directly or indirectly hitting them, the blinds stay very well charged. So even if you don't have something in direct sunlight, don't be concerned whether or not this is going to work. I found uh, it to be more than adequate for keeping this charged. These are really easy, really simple. All you're gonna do is, again, they come with these adjustable clips. You just pop them on. And pop another one on this side. And you're just gonna loop it right on to where you want. What I try and do is, you want these wires not to be all just loosey-goosey in here. So what I try and do is I kind of hide the wires a little bit clip right into here and then you're going to plug your power from the solar panel into here as well okay and then I'm going to plug in my power to the battery in there okay now the only thing left for me to do is to put the rod back in now when you put the rod back in the one thing you want to make sure of is that you put it in in such a fashion that the rod isn't going to be moving anywhere so what they have is You have all these different stoppers right here. And you can see this one here, eh, that doesn't work. What you want is one that's tight on there and allows it to slide on the rod, but not rotate on its own. Might be it. Nope. Nope. There we go. All right, so this is gonna be my, my final component right here. So what I'm gonna do with this, is then I'm gonna take these little clear ones Right. Oops, sorry. I take a clear one right here, and all these are little tiny rubber tubes that just, they're very kind of, uh, well, difficult to move. So what I do is I'll put them on here, and all this does, again, is keep the shaft from moving this way or that way. So, slide that on here. Now, what you wanna make sure of is that if these have moved during your assembly, that these are back in the same spot so that your blinds aren't off kilter. See, I'm just going to keep moving this rubber piece all the way back here. Slide it forward a little bit. Put that rubber piece back. And now, before this goes through the last component, I'm just going to make sure that it's inside this little channel right here. And the reason being is because this little plastic piece will actually click right on in to this channel here. So let's move this.
All right. Now, every single pole has this little stopper on this side. You see this little indent right here inside the shaft? And so it's not going to move anymore this way. So that's where this little rubber piece comes in right here. We push this all the way here, and now this doesn't have anywhere really to move. So now it's affixed inside here. And now I'll take this little tiny plastic stopper. It may have to maneuver just a little bit because you can see it's more of the, the shape of your blind. Boom, pop that in. And now this piece is in place as well, and it's not gonna be moving all over the place. So the next thing we wanna do is hide these wires. Again, we kinda want them out of the way. You're not gonna wanna see this by your blind. So they come with these little tiny 3M adhesive pieces. And all you gotta do is take one of these. And you can just take your wires. And just crumple them up like this. And just kind of keep putting them inside that little little channel. And again, the main point of this is just more so to get them up and out of the way. Now just gonna press firmly along the side. There you go. Now that's in place. This is all tucked up down under here. And now the last thing to make sure you do is turn it on. So over here is the on button. And I'm just gonna flip that up. You see the lights turn blue over here, and that means it is powered on. And from here, we can actually hang the blind before we even set it up uh, on our smartphone or anything like that. And if you already have any other smart automated blinds in there with tilt, uh, this can just be added right to your existing bridge. But other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. Um, so all we're going to do now is just hang this. So. Now again, this was an existing blind, so you can see we have our channel screwed in. And all we're going to do is just put this in the first one. Now I'm locked in. Make sure I don't hurt these curtains over here. Okay, so now our blinds are in place. And I'm just gonna hook up my pull rod. You'll know that your blind is properly set up when you pull the cord. See how that slightly moved just by like a micro, you know, small piece? Um, that means that the blind is now in pairing mode. So now we'll go ahead and set it up on our app to connect to the bridge to be fully automated with Alexa, Google, and any of your smart home technologies.